I've got I've got the beautiful beautiful Caressa kisses on the other line. Hi. Oh, hi. How are you? Good. Yeah. He is the bunny bunny of the month. Oh yeah. And the bunny bunny of the year many times voted on by the customers and the girls. Very cool. I have Big A here with from me from uh, O and A. Hey Big A, how are you? Hey Dennis. How are you I doing? Like, I like Big A. I, last time I saw you was at Artie Lang's house, was it? Anthony's house, probably. Uh, uh, it's Anthony's uh, compound. Anthony Cumia. Oh, you were Anthony. That's right. Yes. Anthony's. I'm yes. sorry. I just left Artie Lang's house. Right. And uh, and then went to went to uh, uh, Anthony's. Yeah, great. Nice talking to you. So what are you offering? Like an Uber of prostitutes right now? <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, well, that's what you need to do, Dan. If they make it legal, create the Uber app to get a hooker. <laughs> Yeah, you, I love that. I love that. There you go, and, and you could uh, pick up a lot of problems and get robbed and get diseases at the same time. That'd yeah. be great. Yeah, can you imagine? Because we know how good Uber's background checks are. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. There, there is none. So and how did so, so I, I, how did you decide you wanted to be a brothel owner? How did how did it come about? I, I mean, well, I I started. I, I moved to Reno in the end of '75. Started dating a girl. And a few months later, she told me she was a, a working girl at the Bunny Ranch. It was called the Moonlight Ranch. And then I, I started hanging out with her. And she said, please come out and look at it. And so I'm out there the first night on a Sunday night. It was when the boyfriends could come out and visit. And uh, so I was there, there. And then Andy Kaufman came in. And I met uh, Andy, you know, had all the girls line up, picked out a couple of them, wrestled two of them. And, um, and Andy and I became friends. And so... He and I and Bob Zamuda used to hang out there a lot wow. in, in, the, in the late 70s. And then Kaufman one night said, Dennis, why don't you buy this place and treat everybody like you and I are treated? Which is, he was treated special because he was a celebrity. Me, I was a boyfriend. And so uh, that's how it all started. I started hanging around there, and Kaufman said, Let's, you should buy the place. And, uh, and so I tried to buy it, and he died in 84. And... Um, and I, I took me till '92 to buy it, and I turned it into the most famous place in the world. Yeah, really. On oh, yeah. HBO and on every TV show. Well, every amazing. everything. I mean, I've, amazing. I've spoke, I spoke at the most famous places in the world. You can speak the most prestigious. I spoke at Oxford University. Right. Chris, oh, wow. Chris and I spoke at Dublin's famed Trinity College. I went to spoke at the Sorbonne this year in Paris. The TV shows in 67 countries. And it's made us all kind of famous, and right. uh, we're having a lot of fun with it. Yeah, you, you've got the system down. I got, I got to give you credit. You know, you know, they say you're not, re you know, you're not allowed to advertise it. So instead, you become famous. Yeah, that's Fucking right. genius. <laughs> you know, genius. <laughs> and, and it's got to, yeah. it's got to be the best investment you ever made. I mean, I was reading how much they say you paid for the Bunny Ranch. I'm, I'm thinking you probably made it back in like. Three months, maybe. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, I, I uh, you no, know, there's no question about it. And I write about all this stuff. And Judith Regan did my book, The Art of the Pimp. Right. And it outlines. It's a fascinating book. It, it's about life. It's it, it's about sales. It's about the craziness that goes on in, in the ranch. Cress has got a chapter in it. Uh, it's, the, the girls talking about crazy stuff. Me and my lifestyle. And like my birthday party's tomorrow night. The owner of the Lakers and I oh, wow. have a joint birthday party. And um, cool. nice. uh, we, we've been doing it for 16 years, and Flavor Flav and Ron Jeremy host the party, and uh, it's a real party. People, people from all over, people, people from CNN and Fox in New York and TMZ and, and National Enquirer and 125 girls, and it, it's a party. Now, is that is that by you, or is that in, like, L.A.? No, no, that's, that's here. Oh, I have okay, a nightclub right. restaurant that's a half a mile from the, wow. from the Bunny Ranch. The Bunny, well, it's called so the awesome. Bunny Ranch Roadhouse. We love Ron Jeremy. We're actually hoping to get him on next week, but he doesn't know how to work a, a voicemail on a phone. <laughs> well, <laughs> you, can, you, can, you can wait the rest of your life. He's not calling you back. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's, that's what his, uh, his agent told me. He said, just call him every hour <laughs> until he actually answers the phone. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, uh, it's amazing. So who do you think has a cooler life? You or uh, Hugh Hefner? It's got to be you, right? I got a better life. I mean, uh, from what Definitely. Holly Madison saying, he sits around and watches gay porn. Well, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm here with classic kisses. Much better. You win. <laughs> of course. So 
I was actually I'd written some questions down, but then I read uh, one of your interviews and it kind of ruined it. I was going to ask you, you know, how does a girl become, you know, someone at your ranch? And do you test drive all the girls? But you kind of said you don't do that. So, you know. No, I, you know, I, I'm not that much of a man. I mean, I had seven thousand girls work here, and uh, you know, it's so weird. You know, Suzette handles all the hiring, and I, I only date girls that work, though. I mean, I don't date civilian girls. I don't want diseases, and I, I don't want a bunch of heartache. Uh, uh, okay, so. Yes, yeah, so you have no issue with that. That's kind of interesting. I would have thought when I, your original you know, girlfriend told you that she was a working girl, you didn't have any issue at that point? You were just like, okay. <laughs> you know? uh, well, you know, I, I did have an issue with it, and uh, uh, you know, but I came out. I was trying to be open-minded, and she was the best lady I'd ever been with since then. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, you know, I, I, I made some sacrifices, and uh, yeah, really, uh, yep. I mean, she's she's hot as hell, but if she brings her two cousins over, I guess that. The even well, that, and, and she did that. I've never <laughs> done a threesome, and and boy, that's, I'll tell you what: if you haven't done a threesome, that's uh, that's an amazing thing. Amazing you know, I, thing. I'm kind of scared after reading. You know, that you and Ron Jeremy have, have, have done that a few times, but, but Ron wants yeah, to, Ron wants to go on top. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, we we have we absolutely have a few times, and uh, but Chris is the master at threesomes. People love her. <laughs> you want? She loved couples. Love Cressa. Yeah. Oh my God, she's got couples and uh, there's a couple here right now she's getting ready to party with tonight that is and, awesome uh, tell, them, tell them about a couple's party I mean they're, they're amazing yeah what, what happens Are you, is it like a time limit or what happens well actually uh, the last couple I just saw I was her first girl girl experience her husband had been trying to get her to open up and, and allow <laughs> another woman in the bedroom with them and I was there first yeah, see, I want to get my wife that, to do that. that Sorry, Christian. <laughs> you know, the, the, what, what a better place to go than the Bunny Ranch and do that? Because she's like, I don't want you having a freeway with someone you know down the street or you're going to sneak off with her, but you're not going to do that because you guys offer a service and so we're never going to see you again. So, Well, that's not true. A lot of the people I see come back and see me again and again. Oh. As a matter of fact, they tell me they named their toys after me. Um, they always say, let's go get Caressa. <laughs> and they That's pull out their vibrator. So I'm a big stimulation to to their sex life, and I love that. But do the, the spark that gives them extra spice and. And um, that's a, it's great. But you know, they come uh, out, they have fun, they keep it exciting. I love being a part of that. Have you have you ever had a wife come back on her own? <laughs> um, not on her own. You know, that's the one thing um, that always delights and surprises me. The couples I see stay together, and have been together for many many years. They're they're very happy. They're best friends. They're open. They're lovers. They. They share experiences and it and it bonds them closer together. That's awesome. I, I wish you guys were nearer to here. Unfortunately, you're about three thousand miles away. So. Just a flight Hello. away. Yeah, I know, right? Hop on your jet plane. Well, so we fly to <laughs> Reno and then you pick us up in the limo. Absolutely. That's cool. Absolutely, the girls love doing that. They, you know, many times uh, the limo doors opened up and there was a couple girls there naked with a pair of pumps on. Yeah. All right, awesome. fuck, fuck this show. I'm going to the airport. <laughs> as, as you should. Yes. As you should. So, um, who, I, I don't know if you can say this, but I was just wondering, like, who was the most expensive girl you ever had at the ranch? Was it like a celebrity or a porn star? Or well, it's it's more about who's who's the guy that wants to spend the money. I mean, right. the, the the girls. It will work with most people's budgets as long as they're reasonable. Now that that being said, there's there's some guys that come in and spend a few hundred dollars, and some guys come in and spend a few million dollars. So he, he didn't. The guy that spent the the, the 2.4 million, it wasn't because the girl was that all that super special or well known because all the girls are special. Uh, it was about him wanting to have a good time with multiple girls for a long period of time. And I mean, the Cressa does a lot of extended dates a week at a time. Well, you're not going to get that for a few hundred dollars. You know, it's going to cost you a lot. But there's yeah. people out there with a lot of money that, that, that enjoy their time with Cressa. Well, we're adult Disneyland, so they can come and stay and play as long as they like. And and 
a lot of gentlemen want to do the activities. They want to go to the lake. They want to go boating on Lake Tahoe. They want to go into the casinos. They want to stay in the bunny bungalow and hang around the pool out here, do multiple parties. You know, you can do as little or as much as you like here. Hmm. That sounds like a lot of fun. What the fuck are we doing in it New Jersey? It is just adult Disneyland, and we're the ride. <laughs> I want to go on the big roller coaster. Hop in, the seat's warm. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want it to be warm from the last dude that was in there. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to worry about that, that's for sure. We give undivided attention to who we're spending time with. So what's the uh, the craziest request you've had? Well, boy, you know that, that that we could talk about that for a week. I I, I I like one that happened recently. Where I'm in Suzette's office and she said, "Check this out. It's going to be a good day." And it was a guy that looked like my PE coach, flat top, buff guy, six two, smoking a cigarette with a nun's outfit. And I said, "Yeah, that's going to be fun." And we wow. came in and the, the yeah, girls lined up then? and and. Uh, and he says, go ahead and pick a girl. And he says, no, no, I don't want to pick a girl. I want to be one of the girls. And one of the, the girls, this, this smart girl said, uh, good, I do the hiring. Come with me. So she took him in, and, and he booked a few hundred dollars for the hiring fee. And she filled out the app, took him into the Suzette, and, and she interviewed him. And you ever done this before? Have you worked? Are you sure you can have sex for money? Uh, are, you, are you mentally prepared for this? And, yeah, 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 I can do it. So he said, well, we'll hire you subject to a wardrobe and makeup improvement. Plastic surgery. Yeah, and so they took him in, and he paid another $200 for the wardrobe, and they dressed him up, and he, he uh, put on this long blonde wig, and, and they set him at the bar, and and uh, then he, when the lineup came, he, he didn't make lineup, and the girl went, excuse me, that's a $100 fine for missing the lineup. It's, it's a, so you got to, can't just sit here and look pretty, baby. you right. got to get out there and, and hustle. Wow. And so she made lineup, and, and a guy almost picked him. That's the scary part. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. So where, where, where were the Kardashian film crew while this was going on? <laughs> so, we, we don't, we don't, there's not enough room in this place for those big asses. Yeah. Like big asses. I'm fucking some with yeah. Bruce. <laughs> you know? Yeah, the, 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 the big Caitlin. black clan. They, they can keep, I can't wait. They'll have Kanye in a dress blowing somebody someday. Oh, you watch. You know that's how. You know that Kim's in charge of that relationship. There's no more doubt. Oh, exactly. I can see. I can see Kanye all strapped up and getting beat now. He's dressed up like one of those Egyptians with the, the gold hats and the fucking yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Oh my god. So, have you ever considered opening a brothel for women? Well, I have, and uh, I was going to do it with Heidi Fleiss, who happens to be here at the ranch right now. And uh, but then she got herself in a little trouble and ended up on celebrity rehab. <laughs> and uh, hey, it's, it's it's called a uh, it's called press, so it's all good. You you're the yeah. expert of press, so you should know that. If you could get on celebrity rehab, you probably would sign up right now. Yeah, we you know Heidi's a great friend, uh, but. Uh, so we didn't do it, you know. It, it's going to happen. Uh, it, it's going to happen, and, and and I'll be the guy to do it. I just don't know what the timing of it is. Girls are girls are coming out, and they're now they're spending time and spending money on on, on sex, or, uh, and uh, but it might be just a little premature uh, still. That's crazy. Everything you touch in that place, you get a, a pile of money for. When you were listening, you get two hundred dollars for the clothes. Yeah. Well, I, actually, we we everywhere because when Big A jerks off, he has to send me twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Mate, that's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think it's more like two dollars, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Big Big A is actually the only quote unquote character from the ONA show that never got any pussy from being a pseudo celebrity. So maybe you can help him out. <laughs> you know? Well. Uh, yeah, that's, I'll help him out. I like Big A. In fact, didn't I send you some clothes or something, Big A? Um, well, that's what I no? know. No? Send me an email, Dennis at MoneyRanch.com, because I meant to. I, I thought we did that. Okay. Maybe it was Artie. Uh, that's crazy. And, uh, uh, that's so, yep, that's, uh, I like Big A. He's a nice guy. Yeah, he's Thank cool. You. He's a great guy. Thanks so much. Yeah. Big what yeah, uh, we, what uh, happens to a guy? Sorry, go ahead. Uh, we had uh, 
uh, Anthony wants to do a show from the ranch. He wants to uh, come out and uh, do a show from the ranch. Yeah, I'm thinking most of the girls there are too old for him. <laughs> uh, maybe, they, maybe they can bring their daughters. <laughs> well, if, if, if eight, 18 to 28 is too old for you, well, then you're probably right. Well, I'm 17 in New York State. So. Uh, well, it's, uh, it's, it's, Not there. It's, it's, yeah, it's 17 and still they, until they tell the cops you, that you were coerced or paid or given alcohol or weed. And they always do because when their mother says, what the hell are you fucking this guy for? They have to have an excuse, and then the cops come and arrest you. 18 the number, trust me. I was, looking, I was looking at someone else. Big ask, do you have questions? I had a question, but it's totally gone out of my head now. Oh, yeah, I know what it was. You, know, you, you said all the girls have to be in the lineup or they get a fine. What happens if a girl gets picked but she doesn't want to go with a guy? Well, no, I, I, I said that was what the girl told this guy. Oh. We don't we don't find them for that, but we do want them to be in the lineup. We don't find them for anything. We just get rid of them, you know, and we don't we don't chase them. We replace them. And so, uh, but if a guy if a, a girl comes in and a, a guy comes in and picks a girl, and the girl doesn't want to be with him, then she just politely says, you know what, I think you're better suited for one of the other girls, and they introduce them to other girls. Oh. Okay. Yeah, and, and and you know we with the girls that's that's why we get girls like Cressa who's been a centerfold and is famous and and all that is that they they know they have a choice and right. so unless a guy's a nice guy they don't have to party with them. We're in prostitution worldwide, especially illegal prostitution. Uh, then it's it's like if the guy's got the money, you you do them. That's, yeah, I hate that we're even compared to illegal prostitution because we really are a social club. Yeah. There's nothing expected of us except for what we expect of ourselves. I think the best thing is that when you see your picture on like the website and when you get there, you're actually the person in the photo. Like when you Absolutely. go when you go on in Craigslist and you see like you know a hot girl and you book her, and then Big A in a wig shows up in a hotel room. That's what I'm told. I'm told that um, <laughs> switch. That normally what's Either advertised switch. doesn't show up and that it can be a misleading, scary deal altogether. <laughs> Here we post and tweet. You can follow my Twitter at Kisses one I post 10, 15, 20 pics a day, every day. So, you know, my photos are actual, factual. You can email us. You can talk to us. Get to know us. You know, there's no pressure to do anything until right. we meet face-to-face and agree to see each other. So that's what's so beautiful. If I'm not comfortable, I simply take the gentleman back to the bar, and then I send different ladies to him and make sure he still has a wonderful time. doesn't always have to be with me. Oh, Big A's asking you if you can spell your Twitter because he can't find it. <laughs> it's at C-A-R-E-S-S-A. K I S S E S one at Carissa Kisses one. So who, who was who got Carissa Kisses without the one? <laughs> <laughs> it's me. <laughs> it's copy and trademarked. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my god. Hey, so were you around when they were filming the cat the, uh, the 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 show? HBO. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes, I have my own series, Carissa Kisses: The Girlfriend Experience. You can pull it up on demand. Cool. You can That's get really it on cool. YouTube. The one question I had about that TV show was, you know, they showed couples, you know, or whatever, ha- you know, having sex with with the, with the girls. Did they film them first and then ask them if they could show it on TV, or did they ask them first and then film it? No, what they did is is we did our regular routines, and then they asked if oh, okay. the party wanted to. Be. So it was actually filmed, but nothing was kept or released unless they signed a release and right. accepted their part in the show. Yeah, because I was watching a couple of them, and I'm like, there's no way these people know because they wouldn't be so relaxed. Uh, right. And that's right. And, and so what we did, and we don't, we, we don't do that anymore, this was the beginning of the show, is uh, we filmed the negotiation and everything in the rooms, and then we would talk to them and say, look, we're filming a, we're filming a show for HBO. We'd like to have you be a part of it, and, uh, and I'm sure the girl you're with here will shows you a really good time uh, again if you if you agree to be a part of it and so they would they would sign up and say yep let's do it those were fun times yep. Suzette would knock on the door she looked beautiful she had her her jacket on and her her matching skirt she looked really official with her clipboard hi we're doing hbo we'd love for you to be a part of it and people were either 
enamored, which most were, or they simply said no. So, you know, it, it was a lot of fun, though, and, it and sounds, to see people's like reactions, it was a blast. It sounds like a blast. It was. It was a lot of fun, and people loved it. They absolutely loved it. I, I, I think they should legalize this whole thing across the country, and, and marijuana, and marijuana too. Why, why not have them both legal, control it, make sure everybody's safe? You know, sounds like... Yep, you got to legalize it. Yeah. Cause yep, all, all way, you know, prohibition didn't work with liquor. It didn't work with marijuana. It didn't work uh, with the numbers racket. Uh, it's, and you, you legalized it. I mean, you know, the, the, take the mob out of it. Take the criminals out of it. Take the disease. Take, take the exploitation, the drugs. The underage trafficking. Take yeah. it all out. Legalize it. Make it safe, adult, fun. Yeah, that would, that would be cool. I I never seen a bro you go to Australia Australia they have brothels and every, Australia they have brothels on like every corner. Yes. Yeah, it's pretty weird compared to in England they I, I remember reading about how they tried to open it up a bit in Nevada and they made it legal I guess so you can do it on your own but they, you can't do it in like a brothel or with someone else. In England they just changed it where you, two girls are allowed to work together because for safety. You know, right. so they made it legal for two girls to work together. Which was kind of, huh. yeah. So I guess that's kind of more logical, right? Why would you let one person work on their own? Who knows what's going to happen? Well, the, uh, what happens is they get killed. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. You know, look at I, I debated a member of parliament on evening news, okay? And England's had, uh, the UK's had a thousand years to fix this problem. They don't get it. They're never going to get it, and it's because they want to hide behind everything. Uh, and and I, I destroyed this this MP McTaggart because nothing she made, said made sense. You know, you've had a thousand years, and you can't figure out how to deal with one simple vice prostitution or get your teeth fixed. <laughs> <laughs> and, you can, and, and she can make more money off prostitution than get her teeth fixed. Exactly. Well, actually, she could just get them pulled out. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, Hell she, yeah. She could great blowjobs in, I guess. Yeah, there's some smackers. <laughs> yep. So, so Dennis, I know you're, you're, you're best friends with Ron Jeremy, and everybody asks you, but can we get another Ron Jeremy story? Another Ron Jeremy story. <laughs> <laughs> I, know there's, I know there's a few in there. <laughs> oh, we got, we got lots of them. We got hundred, hundreds of them. My little bitch. Uh, we got <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you something that's funny. That Ron is the cheapest fuck in the world. Now, he single-handedly gives Jews a bad name. He, he, he's, he's the reason they get the reputation of being cheap. Not the rest of them. All my Jewish friends are really nice people and very generous. Ron is the reason. Make no mistake about it. So now, we go to a restaurant. And uh, now, 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 Ron, Ron if, if he was crossing through the desert with a girl, and she needed to buy a bottle of water at some store to to have the energy to blow him. Ron would say, oh, you don't need it. Let's just keep going. I mean, he's, just, <laughs> he's never, never going to spend a fucking dime ever. So every time we go into a restaurant, I tell, I call in advance, and I tell the manager, I'll be coming in there with a party of six. Dennis Hoff is a party. Uh, Mr. Jeremy will be with us. And Mr. Jeremy will be picking up the bill tonight. <laughs> okay, thank you. So, now, so he takes him, and every time the bill comes, and they set it down in front of him, as they're instructed, and he looks at the bill, and you can see the pressure rising. You can just see him going, oh, no. And, and every, now everybody at the table is in on it except for Ron. Okay? And so uh, Ron will grab the bill finally and look at it, and he says, oh, Lobster? <laughs> <laughs> who, who ordered that? Crescent lobster? Couldn't you, couldn't you get a piece of chicken? Uh, and, and, and who had the Chateau Briand? So, well, these, these two girls shared it. It's Genesis, 80 bucks. And, and, I, and I know Ron. And so he goes down, right down the list of everything, and then he takes the bill and he slams it down in front of me and says, Dennis, this is an outrage. I wouldn't pay this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, I guess he was one of the guys in porn that actually made decent money, right? Because most of the guys in porn... Oh, no, he's got money. He's got, he's got plenty of money. He's, well, he's, probably still, he's probably still got his, his communion money. So, you know, uh, he's, he's got money. Whatever they uh, what do Jews have? Bar mitzvahs, right? <laughs> yeah. Right. Wow. Well, so, um, 
Yeah, he's no, he's got he's got plenty of money, and he's just the cheapest fuck in the, in the world, and uh, <laughs> and that's just that's just the way it is. I mean, he will not. He's America's guest. He's never spent any money on anything, and I I buy her. Uh, three pair of Crocs every year. A pair of formal Crocs, the black ones, and then I buy typically some blue ones or some orange ones, and then the wildest color I can get, lime green or some craziness, and um, and that, so that's what I buy for him, and uh, and he'll wear them out. He'll wear them out uh, every year. Christian wants yep. to know if he can still suck his own dick. Well, <laughs> you know, we we did. We did last year at my birthday party because Ron hosts it with Flavor Flav. Did the worst of Ron Jeremy film festival, <laughs> <laughs> and, and we had a, a comedian narrate it. And it starts off with Ron sucking his own dick, and the and the and the commentator saying, "Yeah, Ron gives himself gives himself a fake phone number, so so he doesn't get so his dick doesn't call him back." Uh, Ron, Ron makes himself wear a condom because he knows where he's been. Oh, okay, I mean crazy stuff. And then, then we got Ron banging the 500-pound chick, and uh, and he 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 went to work on this 500-pound gal. Uh, then Ron blowing himself again, and then <laughs> then, uh, then some other crazy scene, and then it, and then it ends up with Ron banging the 87-year-old grandma, oh, and, and grandma cool. says, uh, she says Ron. You like this? And he runs says, Yes, I love it. And he says, You think this is good? Wait till you bang my sixty nine year old sister. <laughs> uh, he he I don't think anything he turned down nothing, right? <laughs> well he can he, he he's a better man than I am because I, <laughs> I can't do I can't do that at all. I can't do that at all. Because they say a lot of uh, male porn stars were actually gay. And they were like looking over the shoulder of the girl at their, at their boyfriend or whatever. Is that a true rumor or not? I think so. I think I think a lot of it is from what I what I know, and uh, I know Ron isn't, uh, and uh, I know he's I know he's wanted me to do many many double penetrations with him, and I'm like Ron, I don't want my dick that close to yours. Okay? <laughs> I, I don't I don't want I don't want your balls slapping against my balls ever. I read okay? somewhere that that he, he fell asleep. It's not going to happen. So no no DP. I'm surprised that Ron stayed awake long enough to do a DP. I see that he well, sleeps you know, a lot. You got to check out check out the website. Besides BennyRanch dot com, which is the finest online shopping in the world, uh, you have got to check out sleepingwithronjeremy dot com. That's a and, website. And, 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 and hundreds of pictures of of Ron sleeping and uh, 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 Ron sleeping sleeping everywhere. And uh, so that's it's just lots lots of, lots of pictures of Ron sleeping. Uh, one, one, one. He's sleeping where he's got. He's sleeping on a couch at the Bunny Ranch, sitting up. And Jerry Buttafuoco's got his his cock about a quarter inch from his nose, you know. <laughs> and, and what we like to do, what we like to do with Ron is, is you, you, you take and a girl puts her. Like, I, there's a picture on there of Caressa, and where her boob is like an inch from his face. And, and then you, and I say, Ron, and he wakes up and slaps. All of a sudden, there's a boob in his face, you know. <laughs> I just yeah, want—I yeah. just want to know how much sex you have to have where you actually fall asleep when a threesome's about to happen. <laughs> oh, he's done—he's done it many times. I—I yeah. I had a—I had a for forever. Ron's trying to get me to do a do a swing thing with him. So I got dating this girl. She's nineteen, five eleven, blonde, blue eyes, been an L Mademoiselle Vogue thirty-seven times, and but she was fingered and shit. And so Ron says, Let's, I want to do it, I want to do it, let's do this, I'll get a porn star ball. So I asked the girl, I said, would you mind doing something with, with, with the little swing thing? She said, no. And I said, great, Ron, get your best porn hoe and, uh, <laughs> and let's do this. So now we're at the Hyatt Riot in, in Hollywood. And uh, so we take in, the girls are in bed, they're interacting. Ron takes his clothes off, lays across the headboard, leans against his, his elbow and goes to sleep. And I'm like... Asshole. <laughs> you, you were trying to get me to do this stuff for 10 years, and now's your shot, and maybe you're only... Oh, oh, okay, okay. So after about three times of going to sleep watching these girls, I, I, I called the hotel and said, I'd like another room. It doesn't have to be a suite, just a king room. So I took the two girls to this room and, and had this amazing threesome, 
And we came back a couple hours later, and it was like when you put the key in the door and your mom jerks the door open at 4 in the morning when you're 16, where are you, man? <laughs> I said, oh, we went for a walk. I've been everywhere looking for you. I said, oh, we were up by the pool. No, you weren't. I was everywhere. And uh, the next day I told Ron, I said, I said, Ron, you know the swing thing? I like it. I want to do more of it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember Jim Norton, my buddy, told a story on, on the radio about how uh, he walked into a hotel room and uh, Ron was there with, I guess, a, you know, a porn girl or whatever. And he he told uh, you know Jimmy to put it, you know, get in front of the girl and stick it in her mouth. And then you know Ron was just pumping away, and he suddenly did this massive pump, and then Jim like jolted back, and Jim and uh, Ron says to him, and that's why you never do it like this when there's a guy in front. You don't pump too hard because she'll bite your dick off. Yeah, well. In the, I, I set that up, so I'm the one who invited Norton up to my suite, <laughs> and there was a, a Thai porn girl, uh, a penthouse pet, that met me that night that wanted to date me, and, uh, the fucking and a Brazilian porn girl, oh, and so yeah. when Norton came to the room, I said, Norton, come up to the room, and he came up to the room, they opened the door, there's these three naked girls, and uh, Norton starts backing up, I said, get in here, you fucking wimp, stop that shit. Yeah, it's not like Jimmy and to so, turn down pussy. Yeah. You know, so what, what he was, what Ron was teaching is how they teach girls to deep throat. Okay, so now, so now, so Norton's in front, the girls suck at him. Ron's behind, giving her a little pumperuski, and um, and so I took and um, uh, I I said, hey everybody, and they looked, all three of them looked at me. And I took a picture, and I sent it to Colin Quinn. It's when he had tough crowd. And the next week, the oh, you showed it on the air, yeah, with the blows on it. I remember seeing that, yeah. Yep, and and I I said it to to uh, Colin, and uh, so the next week on the show, Colin starts saying, "Okay, Martin, Martin, you all sicko, <laughs> where you been?" So I was in Las Vegas. I I hosted the AVN show. Oh, and Colin says, "Yeah, you yeah, I know with the kings, the kings of sex, Dennis and, and Ronnie." He says, "Yeah, how'd you know that?" He said, "Well, you want to tell us about this picture?" And so they had pixeled out his cock, and then Ron <laughs> banging the chick, and Colin showed it on the show. I remember that. Yeah, that's, that's fucking hilarious. In, in oh, fact, uh, the uh, uh, so the, the college showed me on the show. And, I hope that's uh, not one of your girls. A little bit of history. So you know what? I, I got we got to run. I, I'm going to uh, accept an award from the newspaper. Uh-huh. And the limo driver's here. Oh, okay. So we're gonna take off, and we'll do this again sometime. Okay. Yeah, I, I want you to be my friend, Dennis. I love you. <laughs> Let's see, meet who? I want, to, I want to be your friend. <laughs> well, you are my friend. All right. Big hey, ass. I want to show that one that's barked it. Don't hire that bitch. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, there they go. Big A was trying to say goodbye then for about 40 seconds oh. and couldn't get it out. <laughs> I want to wish him a happy birthday today. I didn't then. fucking hang up. He did. Yeah, but you never wished him a happy birthday either. I didn't know. Well, I remember he said, yeah, okay. tomorrow's his birthday No, he said tomorrow's his birthday party. Yeah, but, uh, birthday party, birthday? Oh. 